the wet and gloomy day here in Taipei, so we thought we'd get out of the rain and head out for some hot pot. Yes, we've never had hot pot before, so we've come down to a place called Marla Hot Pot here in Jimen or Zimen. So it's right behind us, let's head on up now and grab some dinner. It sounds busy already. <laughs> I don't know how big this restaurant is, I think there's a few of them scattered around Taipei. Um, we're, I think, at the busiest one, so let's hope it's not too bad. So there is a wait. I don't know why we just assume that we can walk into some of these places. We never can. Um, so we've got about an hour and a half. Luckily, there is a massive shopping mall not far from here. Sorry, Steve. I am a sucker for a good, <laughs> for a good shopping mall. So much for me being the one that to buy something from the shopping center. It's actually Steve that we're walking out with things. Not me. I didn't buy anything. We'll see what he got. I got two. It was buy one, get one free. Oh, nice. So now we've got sun cream for the next two years. Yes. Right, so it's an hour and a half later. We've got our seats. Our soup has arrived. Yes, we've ordered two different types of soup. So we've got collagen and garlic and clam. They smell amazing. We've just placed our order on the app for the meat. So the waiters come and bring over that to you. And then you are given a plate where you go off and help yourself at the vegetable seafood buffet, I think it is. I don't know. I'm so hungry. Let's go and get some. There's also a sauce station here where you can make your custom sauces. All right, so while we're off getting all the meats and sauces and everything like that, the meat has arrived. A few different types of beef cuts. We got chicken thigh, uh, five spice chicken, pork, and there's something else. I don't know, but there's about 40 different slices of meat. So we got a lot. So, and we got seafood on top of that as well. Steve got some crab, squid, octopus balls, and these are little egg dumplings here. Egg um, or cheese? Egg. I got a whole heap of vegetables. This is our first time having hot pot. I think I said that before. We don't really know what we're doing, <laughs> <laughs> but we're watching people around us, so I um, don't think it's gonna be too hard. When it comes to the sauces, we had no idea, so we've pretty much just both made a custom sauce and just added all random things that we like. For me, I went chili, garlic, sesame seeds, sesame oil, and then like a sesame paste. So I'm not sure how Yours that's gonna go. looks actually like a sauce. Mine doesn't. You just got more salad. I know. I didn't add any oils or liquids into mine. Yeah, my sauce is all right. Is it? it needs a little bit of salt or like fish sauce. I'm gonna taste mine. Oh, that's delicious. I um, use the rest of the coriander. We both really love coriander, so that pretty much just tastes like coriander. <laughs> I think it makes sense to put the chicken in first because it's the thickest cut of meat and it's chicken, so you definitely don't want to risk that being undercooked. The slices of beef are super, super yeah. thin, so I think that's just a case of like putting it in for five seconds and then pulling it out. So. Or even, I don't think I'll just get mine and like wave it through the hot Skim soup. it. Yeah, yum. I like mine being pretty rare. You do. So I was getting so impatient, so I kind of just like grabbed handfuls of everything and just threw it all in. Also, with the package that we got, we get unlimited beer or tea or coke if that's what you're into, but I'm going for the beer. I've seen this all around Taiwan. I'm not sure what kind of beer it is. Let's give it a taste. It's kind of like a pale ale. I could be completely wrong. It just says draft high on there. I'm choosing not to have any drinks because I don't want to fill up. I'll get super full if I have even like a sip of water. So I can't risk it. <laughs> so by the looks of other people, it shouldn't be stressful. I'm feeling a little bit stressed. I think. <laughs> 
I think that's just because I don't know what I'm doing, but it's fun, but I think we're slowly figuring it out. One thing we've learned already is don't throw all your things in at the start like we did because you lose track of everything and you just keep finding things. I stand by that because it's like a lucky dip. You don't know what you're going to get. So I'm enjoying it. <laughs> We're just using these spoons to sort of filter, yeah, filter through the broth just... and just see what we find. I think my favourite so far has been the beef and the squid balls or the octopus balls. Mine's been the chicken and... The chicken, the squid, and the broccoli is really nice because mm. the floret part of it has absorbed the flavour of the seafood stock, the clam stock that we ordered. Oops. So I'm, I don't know, it's like a party. But I think if there was a competition between who made the best sauce, Christy, mine's still not that great. I keep trying to add little bits to it, it's not getting any better. Christy's looks really mine nice. Mine is all round a good time. That chicken wasn't cooked. <laughs> and that's why you just don't throw everything all at once, because you lose track of what's cooked, what's not cooked. And when it comes to chicken, it's not great. So Steve went up to make another concoction of sauce, and I think he's gone a little bit rogue, because as soon as he left, the waitress came over with another seven trays of meat. Did you really order that much meat? Yeah. He was like, I'm so full, I can't really eat much more. Disappears, then seven trays of meat roll up. <laughs> We're an hour and 15 minutes in, and we are both completely full. Yep. We're very full. Not full enough to not get dessert, though. I'm done with this, the savoury hot pot. But I'm definitely excited for dessert. They've got so many different flavours of ice cream. I will, of course, probably just get chocolate. Um, but apparently there's cake as well. Yeah, there is cake, so maybe I'll go up there now and shoot some B-roll and show you guys the dessert. And maybe get me some. Steve's on his way back. There he is. <laughs> you get? I think I've got some tiramisu and some just vanilla sponge cream cake with this ice cream here, which I'm not sure. I've got no idea what flavour that is. It's really good though. It's like cookies and cream. He asked me to cut it and feed it to him. I don't know why. That was hard. Sorry, I just gave away your secret. It was for the shot. Well, you got the shot. That was so much better than what I thought it would be. I don't know what I was expecting, but that was fantastic. Yeah. I think we paid about 30, 40 Australian dollars per head or 1,700. Yeah, it was 1,700 for the all of us. Taiwanese dollar. Yeah. Um, so that, yeah, roughly equates to about $40 Australian, but very good value. The food was really good Maybe. quality yeah. as well. And yeah, it was really nice. The only thing that could make it better is if you had your own custom sauce. If there's any locals watching the video and you have your own custom sauce recipe, chuck it down in the comments so yeah. we can use that for next time we go to Hot Pot. That would make a huge yeah. difference. We loved, loved the Hot Pot here. If you were to do this exact same thing in Australia, you would be paying double, sometimes triple. even triple the price. So yeah, we feel very lucky to be here in Taiwan. We love it so far and we can't wait to see more. The rain stopped, so we're going to attempt walking home about two kilometers back to our hotel. Yep. So we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. I think you just use the shovel method where you just put it up to your mouth and shovel it in. There is not one other person doing that. <laughs> I think I can smell the infamous stinky tofu. We have to try it while we're here. It can't be that bad. Oh my god, seriously? Really? 